this video let's look at two misleading graph questions the figure given below shows the number of students enrolled in different courses why is this graph misleading so students enrolled in different courses this is the number of students and this is the courses offered so we have our four courses over here so is this graphed incorrectly now that is a vague question and we don't even know about the original data so we can't really consider this to be a proper option one way or the other is a graph not misleading we have to find out does not start at zero yes that fixes it right clearly we are starting somewhere around 2400 because each of these units seems to be about 200 students and uh, the one below 2600 must be 2400 so we are not starting from zero this is a issue the width of the bin is uniform but there's nothing wrong with the width of the bin being uniform yeah so that must be our answer now this is the actual data 4000 3000 2800 and 3500 and from this data let us select it we will try to make a bar graph which is more representative of this data so we selected this data and now we go to insert chart it is showing us a column chart if you want to customize we could always go and find, change the colors so this is a color that was used in the question so this is what our graph is expected to look like which is actually all of them look roughly the same when you compare with the baseline as zero but over in the question the baseline was somewhere here which made the 2800 seem much smaller than what it actually was in this pie chart now let's look at this a survey was conducted to determine what food items would be served at the farewell party why is this graph misleading so we have these four food items chili potato spring rolls cheese corn balls and nachos we have these percentages associated with them this graph is not misleading we don't know yet we have to see the slices are the wrong color there is no way to say that unless we have the real data we can't really say that for now this pie chart could very well be fine the percentages do not add up to 100 now let's verify this this is important so i have 29 percent plus 28 percent plus 15 percent plus 24 percent and what have we got 9 plus 8 is 17 17 plus 5 is 22 22 plus 4 is 26 so yeah this is not going to be 100 to carry over so 6 plus 1 plus 2 that is 9 so we are on 96 percent only we are not getting 100 so this is the issue with this particular graph the slices are not the correct size is also something we can't really talk about without knowing the actual data so this graph is misleading because it does not actually add up to 100% but the point of a pie chart is you show everything all the 100% in it thank you